you're about to watch history. Now you're probably wondering, what do I mean by history? Well, today's the day that we're going to be breaking the record for the world's longest wiffle ball game. Why wiffle ball? Why not? The longest game is like 25 hours and ours is going to be 30 hours. There's about three hours till the game start and we got to get a little bit ready. I got to take a shower, I got to get all my stuff together, I got to get there a little bit early and I got to bring all the cameras and gear so that we can actually record it and have proof that we beat the record. Here's a little insight on the uh, how this whole wiffle ball thing happened. So I started this channel, it's had mild success, a lot of my friends really like it and they like me posting new videos and I, I try to because it's fun and I know that they like them. But anyway, around that time, I was kind of on like a making YouTube channels high. And me and my friend Dominic, who was in the last vlog, the Physics Day one. This is going to be the first vlog you're in. How does that make you feel? Uh, recommended that we start our own channel. And the channel was going to be premised around breaking world records. We were just going to find like really simple, easy to break world records. And then we were just going to, you know, break them and film it. It was going to be like the same style of my vlogs and everything. It would have been really cool. And then we found out the record for the world's longest wiffle ball game. And from there on, it just took off. The funny thing about it is that it was kind of like me and his idea, like me and Dominic's, but I kind of like drift away from it. And he told his other friend, and they kind of just like really made it what it is. And now it's a real thing. It's... I still have to get a few things ready for wiffle ball itself. And then I think I got to head out and go get a tripod because I don't have any anymore. I broke mine. And I'm definitely going to need a tripod for this. Words cannot explain how pumped up I am for this right now. It was funny, the other day uh, some person was talking to me about my channel and my videos and they were saying how like they could figure out where I lived just by watching all the footage of me driving to and from my house. Alright, two things about this place. Number one, I always get yelled at for filming in there, especially with this camera because it's big and bulky and obvious that it's a camera. And number two, I literally come here every single vlog, except for physics day, but I think that's it. I think every other vlog I've been to Walmart. I wish. Here in Surgery Life, we like to uh, keep things cheap. God, I feel like a criminal filming in here. Like at any given second, I'm gonna get yelled at. Turned off my camera right before it happened, but I just got yelled at for filming in Walmart again. I almost made it through the entire exchange without anyone yelling at me. I was paying for the tripod, I was just about to leave, and a woman just like, excuse me, excuse me? Yeah, you can't film in here. I was trying to ignore her to, you know, maybe she'd like give up, but not, nah, she was persistent, and once again, I can't film in Walmart. Okay, so we got the tripod. It is, oh crap, 10. The thing starts in exactly one hour. I have to be there in 30 minutes. I'm exactly 15 minutes from there. So that means I have 15 minutes to do whatever I want before I devote the next 30 hours to playing wiffle ball. So what can I do for 15 minutes? Not even like an hour into vlogging today and I've already exhausted the battery. Luckily I brought extras and all the chargers because I'm going to be filming a lot today. I'm actually the one documenting the uh, whole 30 hours on my other camera. 
Anyway, I think it's time. I'm pretty pumped. I know everybody else is pumped, especially Dominic. He's ready to go. So, some lady just caught me talking to you. Oh, God, I hate when people see me talking to the camera. It's so awkward. They probably think I'm insane. Okay, well, I'm ready to go. I know Dominic's pumped right now. He's ready to go. He's, he's probably already down there right now, so let's go meet him and eventually everybody else and let's break a world record. Probably should have gotten a bigger size. Oh well. All of them. Oh, they're rolling up. I should have got a medium. Wait, is it here? Jay, do you want to do me a favor and grab Ethan. that pocket knife that's in the console, Ethan. center console there? Ethan. This kid thinks he's gonna win. It's a little. Uh, it's a Swiss Army knife. Enough? Yes. Wanna be in it? Yeah. Cool. Let's talk about how we feel about the oncoming 30 hour game. I didn't sleep well last night, so. Uh, Neither did yeah, I. Because right. <laughs> well, of a little thingy. Is that considered as a sideways or a tripod? It's like a big one. Ooh. Okay, so we already broke the tripod. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> I just bought the flimsiest tripod. Like, oh what God. was it? What was it? Uh, Clumsy. Dami! <laughs> Dude! It's the day! Are you excited? Very excited! So excited! Exactly. Why were you here first? Cause we... How was that? McKenna. What? How are you feeling right now? Um, Moments before we do a 30 hour one ball game. Pretty ecstatic. I'm um, not looking forward to 30 hours. Let me show you my crib. Cool. Oh. We got hey, the great view. It's partly my crib. We got a perfect view of the baseball Mom. field. Let me show you inside. This is my dojo. You know, this is where I chill and this is where I, I make things happen. Hey, yeah. How do you feel about the fact that we're about to break a world record? You know, I just came to be cool. Jordan Dove, how do you feel about us about to break the world record in wiffle ball? I'm ready. Robbie, how do you feel about the fact that we're about to break the world record in wiffle ball? Well, you know, I don't think it's going to be as easy as people have seen. It's going to be a battle, but uh, I think we can do it. we got good brains over here on all the equipment, and I'm hoping we can uh, get in those books. We're about to break the world record of the longest wiffle ball game ever. How do you feel? Um, uh, we're gonna get this world record. Matter what. There's this guy that's friends with Dominic, one of my friends, and I've never met him before in my life, but he constantly talks about him all the time. And I'm about to meet him in real life, so I'm gonna capture the moment on tape. Oh, hey. Devin Bucklet? Hey, how are you? You're real? No, I'm You're real. not just I'm something on Dominic's computer all the time? 100% real. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. How does everybody feel about 30 hours of wiffle ball starting in just a few minutes? Okay, cool. This is by far the coolest tent I've ever seen. This thing is huge. Here's, here's Tanner and Pat's tent. This gigantic mansion of a tent. And here's me and Robbie's right here. Look at this thing. Set up some chairs right here. You can just sit down and enjoy the view of more tents. So there's people out there that uh, had the world record for the longest wiffle ball game. 
which was, I think, 25 hours. So right now to those people, I apologize for destroying your hard work. We all, we all feel bad, but also it's freaking awesome and screw you guys. This is everybody who's playing wiffle ball right here. And Tanner. No stealing. What the heck? I'm going to steal. No stealing. What? what? Pitching. Alright. I'm out. We'll have a ball. I'm out. <laughs> stealing, <laughs> yes or no? No. Yes. Absolutely. It's going to be really tiring if we try. Pitching is just going to be Me too. Yes. Why don't you get Later today, Alex is making hamburgers. Tomorrow morning is my mom. Okay. Alright, here's what? the game plan, guys. For the next 30 hours, we're going to crush it in a game of plastic baseball. Amen. Alright, one, two, three, break. Whiffle ball. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Get him, Trev. Come on, Trevor. Get him. Yes! Alright, that's it. That's it. I told you! Yeah. No! Yeah. 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 This is a long day for one trip. Actually, you want to try this? Trevor! It's smart to have hey, Go home then, we don't need your We're witnessing right now. Be here. Is she not picking up? Good job! Oh, God! I'm right in the line of fire. <laughs> the news is here to document our wonderful adventure into breaking world record. Hey John, what time is it? We've been playing for 54 minutes, almost the first hour. After that, there's only 29 more to go. Never mind, it's 48 minutes. Let's yell about it, huh? Hey, go pull it! Oh my god! Thank you. No, what our plan is, it score more runs than the other team, and we'll win. Oh! Oh! Come on! Yeah! We have a person here for a reason. Yeah, why are you there? I already hit this. Oh, that's right. Oh, fix your hair! Oh! Hey, hit that! Thank you. Trevor, what the heck? That's Trevor. Where's Joe McCain? That's how legit it is that getting interviewed. I know. That's Homer. That's Homer. No. Great. We are like eight minutes in and I'm done. That's how you do it. Go, RJ, go! He chips on the field. RJ just juked the crap out of Your rivals? We got a rivalry. Bless you! Yeah. Yeah. That's the news guy. He's batting right now. You don't count, Drew! Yeah, we're playing camera in hand right now. First person. Whoa! We are seven and a half hours into the 30 hour journey of wiffle ball. Still pretty legit. I don't Everyone's, know how many hours we're in. We're at seven and a half. Everyone's still pretty pumped, sort of. 
I don't think we can do this. Now, the more I think about it, it just seems really unrealistic. We have actually a lot of uh, break racked up, though. Yeah. Is that Sergio though. de la Vega? It is Sergio de la Vega. So, we were just talking about how this seems like it's going to be impossible, and I don't think we're going to be able to do it. What? Because <laughs> we have to go through the entire night and then, like, an entire day. Like, to 6 o'clock is pretty much oh the my. entire day. It was like, I kept thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, we're just going to have to go through the night. But we're going to have to go until, like, this time tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, I am. I've been vlogging since like the beginning of the day. We got a fire truck coming to give us some light. Hey, how's it going? This is Jaden. She wanted to be in the vlog. I'm, I'm Zach. Hey, I'm Zach, Zach. Zach Kabala. Zach Kabala. Follow me on Instagram and stuff. And, and Jaden. Say your, say your thing. Jaden Dodge. Jaden Dodge. That's yeah, it. Right there. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> the fire truck is is being used as light for us so we can see. It's pretty bright. It's even brighter now. I guess the fire department's okay burning their truck fuel up all night. We are now 9 hours and 35 minutes into the uh, 30 hours of all day. People are still going strong. I don't know how. I've taken so many breaks. How are you guys doing? I'm excited to hit more dingers. I'm at uh, six, no, five dingers. No, six dingers right now. I'm hoping to catch up with Joe McCann because he's at uh, double digits. I want to get on base. We are 14 hours in, almost halfway there. Super dark outside. A lot of people are getting tired. I'm getting tired. I'm also really cold. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. We're now 18 hours into our 30 hour game of wiffle ball. I'm extremely tired. All right. This right here is the world record for the longest wiffle ball game. 25 hours, 39 minutes, 53 seconds. Yeah, pretty sure we already went over it, right? Here. Over it? Down the coast in what? 17 oh, hours. Picking me a bouquet of wood flowers. All right, can we stop this hogwash? This hogwash. Three minutes until we break the world record. Well, we already we, broke yeah, the world already record. Broke Three minutes until we set our own record. Out to second base real quick so that I can. Uh... Oh boy. Four, three, two, one. in one minute and seven seconds.
Oh, the Blue team lost, unfortunately. Red team won. No, hold up two. Just two. We may have lost, but we're world record holders. Say it. I'm MVP of the game. 36 home runs, 70 plus RBIs. Let's do it. That, that's true, we are champions now, of the world. I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna tell you this right now. When Usain Bolt was a little kid, it took seconds sometimes. That's okay. But that means we're gonna take first next year. Hey, cut. Do you, do you remember the coin toss? I, I don't think anyone here ever said we weren't gonna be able to do it. I don't think we can do this. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to all the witnesses he did he drove around and made a ton of calls and this definitely wouldn't have been the same without Got him. the lights and the party they everyone deserves Zach and I'm so sore and tired and dead from 30 hours of wiffle ball. Anyway, last night I was so tired that I forgot to even end the vlog. But I wanted to show you one thing real quick. I think I need to sleep throughout the entire day. Here's a local news video that um, that's on the website. They came down during our game. Tell me if you recognize this guy. <sighs> so yeah, it was pretty intense. It was very legitimate and very tiring. That was probably one of the coolest experiences of my life so far. And uh, it was a really good way to kick off summer. Anyway, thanks for watching.